Hey Scorpio, welcome back. This is going to be a timeless love reading. So whenever you feel drawn to the title, to the picture, that's when the, you know it's meant for you. This is going to be the person that you're thinking of, whether it be a new connection, somebody you're missing, somebody that you may be crushing on, um, what messages need to come out that Spirit has for you, and then messages from the person to you. Always take what resonates, and then any time you would like for me to tune into just your energy to bring you clarity, guidance, click on the link below in the description box of every reading. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. Over there, I offer a variety of readings. Um, for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. I'm grateful you are here. Um, and by subscribing, you can take advantage and take part in the um, free giveaways that I have each and every month. This month, it's going to be two 25 to 35 minute readings of your choice. Um, all you need to do is be a subscriber and leave a shamrock or a four leaf clover, which I think is the same thing, maybe three leaf clover, but like a green plan of some sort that your phone allows you to leave. Um, if you're if you're on a computer and it doesn't, you can just write shamrock and in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine during the month of March. Make sure your notifications are on for YouTube. I will be reaching out to two people that I randomly choose at the end of March. I will provide the link to my Etsy shop. And then over there where it's um, protected and it's secure, it'll say contact shop owner. You just let me know what you're one of the people that have won the free reading. And then I will get the information I need and send you your free reading. All right, what is coming towards my Scorpios in terms of the person they are thinking about? Spirit, wisdom. So I feel that there has been, this has been a learning lesson for you. This has been a time, depending on the situation, a time for you to go within, go with your gut feeling, go with your inner knowing. Maybe losing somebody caused a transformation within you. That's how it happened for me. Maybe losing someone that you really loved or you really thought you would spend your life with. It could have started a transformation within yourself. Spending time in meditation, maybe spending a lot more time praying, um, but looking for answers. And raising your vibration. Not dealing with drama or obstacles, you know, raising your vibration and manifesting what you want with this person from a higher energy level. You don't want to manifest from a time where you may be missing someone or you may be unsure about someone because then you bring more of that energy to you. You continue a cycle. You want to manifest from an energy that is so high, you know, a, within yourself. And be very distinct about what you want in terms of this person. Alright. Messages from them to you. Now I'm going to pull from this deck and another deck. And also Scrabble tiles at the end. So do stay around to the end. For Scorpio and the person. For Scorpio and their person spirit. What does Scorpio's person want them to know? All right, we have, please don't move on. I am ashamed of how I treated you. And I wish I could give you more. I'll come back for you is at the bottom of the deck, guys. The person Scorpio is thinking about. That one flipped over and that one. Let's see. So there has been an ending for some of you with 37. Now this could also have been hard endings in your past. You know that you might have had to raise up your energy from. To learn lessons from. To find that inner strength to close out cycles. And occupation. You could have met this person through work. 
through doing business with them of some sort, maybe through a coworker. They knew, you know, it's a friend of a coworker, or maybe even school. For some of you, not all of you. Having a white pad I thought would be, you know, kind of classy. It definitely holds a lot of stuff. All right, Empress in reverse. So you might have been dealing with Libra. In reverse, it could have been somebody that was not showing up as them best, their best selves. They might have been going through some drama of their own. Let's see. All right, Spirit, please give me Scorpio's energy. Six of Pentacles. You wanted something of an equal give and take. You wanted to know that what you were going to give, you, it was going to be reciprocated back. For those of you that are in separation and this, you know, or you, or maybe even get second guessing the connection, I do feel it's going to be like a head over heart decision. It's going to be a big decision for you to make to walk away if that's what route you're going. All right, the person Scorpio is thinking about. All right. Oh, here's the Wheel of Fortune wanting to flip over. Nine of Cups. Yeah, see. Now they see you as not needing them. They see you thriving. They see you um, making the most of your life. And they do feel that you were their wish fulfillment. They feel that you were their fated partner. But with this showing up and this wanting to pop out, I do feel the wheel is going to turn in your favor. What is the past connection between Scorpio and their person? This pentacles wants to keep popping out. So I'm telling you, for some of you, it might have been through business. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have fire, earth. And water, Scorpio. But I'm going to take that as zero energy. Like I said, it's possible that you met through doing business with them or school or work. Um, but there is definitely a passionate connection, a chemistry between the two of you. They see you as very abundant within yourself. And I feel like they think about you often. What is the present situation? They did see you as somebody they could be with long term and I have two kings here so for some of you that resonate with the same sex this could be standing out for you king of pentacles and king of fire the present situation you might be dealing with somebody already Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy and in the past it's this fire sign but you may find yourself in with somebody already and then you find yourself thinking about them, wondering how they're doing, maybe looking them up. But I definitely feel that they've got love for you. What does the future hold for Scorpio and this person that they are thinking about? Making a plan and enforcing it, the two of you, to bring happiness into this connection. Wanting to be in union. Look at this. Wanting to be in union. The Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. The next is the Page of Swords. So for some of you, you could have met online. You could have met through, you know, a dating app or social media. They contacted you. But I do feel that you're still, you look them up here and there, they definitely look you up. 
They might even be getting readings on you, is what I just got in my head. But this is definitely a union that you can't deny. All right, let's see. All right, Spirit, please clarify the Six of Pentacles for Scorpio's energy towards this person. Yeah, you wanted to make this work. You wanted to definitely go the distance and bring this into union. I feel like you were already coming from a stable situation like you had, like the, the, the way they see you. You had your shit together with the Nine of Pentacles. You were thriving. Why the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, Spirit? King of Swords, Air Energy, Scorpio. They see you, they, they definitely saw you thriving, emotion, um, mentally grounded, you know, knowing what you want and going for it. You may have Air in your chart. You may be a Libra, Scorpio, Cusp. But you knew what you wanted. You were very strong. Well, you see, you knew you wanted this connection. All right. Please clarify the past. The King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. The King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. And here's the King of In the past, there might have been a third party here. You know, if you met through work, they may have had a, a, a you know, an already existing relationship at home. You may have already had an existing relationship at home. Because I definitely feel extra energy here. I feel same sex relationships, but I also feel extra energy for those of you. That that resonates. Why is the king of coins here twice? I feel like they were focused on themselves more than they were focused on you. They were more worried about things that they wanted to accomplish in their life. And the focus wasn't this connection at the time. Why the two of wands and the sun card for the future? The two of wands and the sun card. Yeah, see? Now they want to make a plan and fight for it. Now they want to put a plan in motion for the two of you and fight for this connection. And they are taking that leap of faith, Scorpio. You may receive a text message, an email, a direct message. All right, let's see what else. I'm awakening. I know more than I'm letting on. So they're already realizing this connection. I long ago shut down those parts of me that wanted love, romance, and intimacy. But you make me long for those things again. Love it. Then at the bottom of the deck, I can't validate our love in 3D until I understand our spiritual love. In 5D, give me time to explore this aspect so I can be a strong spiritual partner for you. This is the energy of like a past life connection, of connecting you, you and this person connecting on the 5D. And last but not least, and look, it's 111, guys. No, we have 1111. We have four of wands. We have 1111 twice. A soulmate connection. I'm seeing synchronicities like you're 
name or 1111 and working out what they mean. See, they might be requesting readings on you. That's what I was getting. Also, I feel like it's a soulmate connection. All right, final messages from Scorpio's person to Scorpio. I feel it. I feel a connection to you like no other. And that's right there where they said that they would normally shut down. But it's like you make them want to feel these things again. You are the love of my life, but I couldn't say it. I just got goosebumps, Scorpio. And this wanted to fly out. You make me want to be a better person. I remember I said with the Empress in the reverse, in the beginning, it was like a lack of stability, a lack of knowing their worth, maybe insecurity. It's like they have definitely leveled up so that they can come towards you. See, at the bottom, I feel like they knew they still had growth within them. They felt like you deserved more, that there was something better for you out there. All right, let's see. We have G, E, A, T, I, S, as in Sam, D. I just heard Denny, so if that resonates, R. U, F, um, N for Nina, L, Lily, Leo, Liza, W, um, we already have an S, P, For those of you that are petite, I just heard puny and petite. Who knows? All right. All right, Scorpio, do take what resonates, um, like I said. And for those of you that are interested in the free reading, subscribe and leave a green emoji of some sort, preferably like a shamrock or something. Um, and then focus on the messages I channeled in and the letters that are here. If it completely resonates and you don't see letters, that is fine also. Love and light, Scorpio.